Hey guys, I feel like I have been waiting so long to do this video, but it's finally here. It's the 1st of March and what better way to start off with the new season is to do an ultimate spring reset. I did one of these last year and I absolutely loved it. So I feel like it's only right to do another spring reset for you guys. Like I love spring. I feel like I'm so motivated during spring and I'm so excited. So first of all, before I do anything, I literally have 15 minutes until my nail appointment. So I literally have to leave right now, but I'm so excited to get my nails done, I feel like it'd be a nice refresh. <sighs> this is what we're dealing with. All my nails are chipped. <sighs> what a surprise, I'm already running away. I've just got home and I am obsessed with my nails. After I got my nails done, I had to be a taxi driver and I dropped to my friend's home. But now I'm home and I am gonna do my favorite thing when having a reset and that's to change my bed sheets. There is nothing better than getting into bed with fresh bed sheets. I'm really excited. sheets have been changed I've done a bit of tidying and a bit of restocking and there are still some bits in my room that I do want to clean but I'm feeling so much better about myself and I'm happy with my new bed sheets me and my best friend Kieran decided to jump into the deep end and make a brand new channel called the max in this channel you can expect fun challenges random games vlogs podcast style videos and possibly with special guests if you are even a little bit interested please subscribe we will forever be grateful and make sure to stay tuned for weekly content there is nothing better than having freshly washed hair I have been craving avocado on toast for so long, but I feel like it's not gonna taste that nice. I don't think it's right. It's like so chunky. I swear, my hair goes all frizzy as soon as I blow dry and straighten it. Ah, it's just been washed. So I think one of the things I'm going to be doing for my spring reset is to kind of revamp my vintage. I share a vintage account with my best friend Becca and if you guys are interested in buying any of our stuff then the link is in the description. But I'm going to repost some of the stuff that isn't selling and just try and find some bits in my wardrobe that I can put on vintage. I love vintage so much. There's just some stuff that I've listed over like a few weeks ago and they just haven't really been selling so I'm going to just re-upload them and hopefully they sell. Because we've just come into the new season, I really enjoy doing seasonal reflections where I just basically reflect on my goals, what I've achieved, and so I can figure out the next step into 2024. So if you did your yearly goals at the start of the year, or if you haven't, then feel free to just make some goals now. And I'm going to do a little bit of reflection. You can add more goals, edit your goals. You can even change them if you really want to. And it's a really good idea to see like progress, where you've come, what you've achieved. And you can kind of decide what the next step is for you. So all of my goals are actually stored on my Notion. If you watch my channel regularly, you know I literally love Notion so much. It helps me keep so organized. And I have a whole section here for my goals. So I have monthly goals, yearly goals, and daily habits. And I did the in and outs trend on here as well. So everything that I wanna bring into 2024, like basically like healthy habits, 
just like ways to keep productive and also my outs things i'm cutting out and things i will not be bringing into 2024 like bad energy unmotivation i think the goal that i really really want to achieve is to get possibly 10k on youtube it's a lot but I feel like if you dream big, then it's always possible. Um, also, to get a brand deal, I have got um, gifted brand deals, but maybe I could get a paid brand deal, you never know. And I also really want to get um, the highest grade in my college, which is the distinction. Like, I have been working on that so hard, and I'm really, really manifesting I get that. For some of my ins for 2024, I want to have early wake-ups, which to be honest, I have not been doing, so I can prioritise that. Um, prioritising self-care and spending quality time alone, definitely done that. Romanticising everything, I feel like I'm quite good at doing that. Exercising, saving money, always having my nails done, love. Always thinking of new video ideas, dedicating my time into things that really, really matter which I think is such a good one. Instead of endlessly scrolling on TikTok, I'm actually editing for a YouTube video instead, which I feel like benefits me more. Being a yes girly. I mean, I feel like being a yes girly is quite like contradictory. And there has been times where I've been a yes girly and things just haven't gone to plan and that's okay, but at least I went out there and did it and I've learned for the next time. Um, read more. Definitely have not done that. Um, it's my life, so I should always be the best version of myself. Put myself out of my comfort zone. I'm going to an event next week, which is really exciting. and. I've never been to an event, so I'm putting myself out there. YOLO and buying staple pieces of clothing. And this is the out. Comparing myself to others. Overthinking about situations I can't control. Toxic people, out. Jealousy, being hard on myself. Lack of sleep. I need to work on that one a little bit. And micro trends. Reading this through has actually made me feel a little bit more motivated. So I really recommend just reflecting on your goals.